On a recent video, a viewer suggested a problem to solve. They want to print out the numbers from 0 to 99 in a 10 by 10 grid like this. Also notice that the numbers with a single digit, like 1 and 2 here, are printed out with a leading 0. So let's write a C program now to solve this problem. So we'll solve this problem by using a counter variable and a loop to print out the numbers from 0 to 99. So here I'll say int i is equal to 0. And what I'm doing is declaring a variable called i that's going to store an int value. And we're initializing it to 0. Then we'll make a loop that uses this variable as a counter variable. So here I'll say while i is less than or equal to 99. And then inside the loop body, I'll say i++. So this condition is going to make our loop terminate execution when i is no longer less than or equal to 99. Now we're starting off i at 0, and we're incrementing it by 1 each time, which means this loop is going to stop when i reaches 100. And it's going to go up until i is 99. Now what we'll do is print out the value of i each time. So we'll say printf percent %d space i. So the percent %d here is a placeholder that says we're going to provide an integer to printf to output here. And we provide that integer with the second argument here, i. Now if i is a single digit, like 2 or 3, we want to print out a leading 0. We want to print out a single leading 0. So what we're going to say here is 0, 2. So what the 2 does is it's going to make it so that the number is output into a 2 character width field. So even if the number is a single digit, it's going to be output into a field with 2 characters. In other words, 2 characters worth of space. The 0 is going to add a leading 0 to the number. So if the number is 5, we'd get 0, 5 as output. Now the last thing we're going to do is in order to create the effect of a 10 by 10 grid, whenever i is divisible by 10, we're going to print out a new line. So here I'll say, if i modulus 10 is equal to 0, printf a new line character. So the modulus operator does division with i and 10. It takes i divided by 10. But what it returns is the remainder. And so what we're saying here is if the remainder of i, when it's divided by 10, is 0, print out a new line. This means that when, for example, i is 10, after incrementing it, 10 divided by 10 is going to have a remainder of 0, and we're going to print out a new line. Same thing when i is 20. 20 divided by 10 has a remainder of 0, so we're going to print out a new line. And so this is going to have the effect of creating the 10 by 10 grid where after every 10 numbers, we're going to print out a new line and start on a new line. So we'll save this and test it out. And we get the 10 by 10 grid of numbers from 0 to 99 with the leading zeros on these numbers here as well. And we've matched the output that the viewer was requesting here. And so that's how we can solve this problem in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.